writing poetry, a diversion from three months of pandemic upheaval. Except for the safe injection sites, I didn't know really anywhere else to go um, to stay warm or to be safe. When the pandemic hit, she was sleeping here. Her struggle with heroin then went from bad to worse. We've agreed to protect her identity. I OD'd three times and um, woke up, you know, alone because I was using alone. Ontario is experiencing an unprecedented spike in drug deaths, a 25% increase in fatal overdoses compared to the same period last year, according to preliminary numbers. From the frontline workers we work with around the province, they're all saying deaths are going up. Uh, but to hear that number and to see that number, I was not expecting it to be as that high. Ontario is not alone. B.C. saw a 39% jump in overdose deaths in April, compared to the same month last year. And in Alberta, the number of opioid-related 911 calls doubled from March to May. Health officials blame increasingly toxic street drugs laced with fentanyl, replacing the usual opioid supply chain. And then you add COVID into the mix, I mean, it's just a disaster of epic proportions. This psychiatrist treats patients with addictions. It's very stressful to be socially isolated and fearful of catching COVID-19. Uh, and when people are stressed and anxious, they may use more substances in order to cope. Health Canada has temporarily eased restrictions on medications used to treat addiction. Some doctors are even prescribing opioids to protect their patients from street drugs. She says it's helped her stabilize. She's now in temporary housing, hoping to stay off the street. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.